Hello and welcome back to StarCraft and today we'll be playing Direct Strike, but this time, this time we're playing with different units, very special units. They are, this is a game mode, a variant of Direct Strike, where instead of spawning with these standard StarCraft units, we spawn with a, a bunch of different factions of units, and this time I'll be playing the Primal Zerg with Dehaka, this big boy right here. And it's the same game mode where we're still trying to blow up the enemy's planetary fortress, well in this case the enemy's nexus, we're the planetary fortress this time. And I'm running with a faction that has different units than normal, and we're, well, we're, we're gonna be playing this dude! Look at him! Look at- oh my god, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> Look at the animation! I, I, I didn't see that before, that's actually kind of hilarious. So we're gonna go ahead and put him down. And the whole purpose of this faction in particular is that we get to this one big unit and this kind of very specialized, almost special forces style of uh, Zerg units, which is different than most. So for this Dihaka unit, we can go ahead and give him a special a list of abilities. These are all abilities that he, once unlocked will activate over time. Just kind of auto-casted. We'll give him this evolve, uh, Devour ability and also uh, Intimidating Roar. Uh, the... Is he, yeah, yeah, that's the Devour ability. Just kind of eats a dude, which is nice. And then we have the Intimidating Roar, which, Roar, which gives a passive debuff to nearby creatures. So that that's our Dehaka. He's, he's kind of our hero unit. We're going to get a bunch of other very high power level Zerg units. Very... Almost Protoss like. So we're going to go ahead and put down these. These are a defensive structure. We put them there, and the purpose of these is to defend. Ah, oh, what, a, what a shocker. Fortunately, they can also be used for kind of offense just by placing them down here and make them make them grow out of the ground and deal damage. So that's going to be a lot of our a lot of our gimmick. Which is going to be interesting. Now, these guys will respawn when they die. They just, if the defensive structure gets killed, it will respawn after a minute or so. So that just provides a kind of a, a health buffer to defend our bunker. Obviously, once the enemies t destroy our bunker, they gain minerals. And we, we don't want that. That's, that's bad. We really don't want that. Uh, let's see, he's gained up another point so we can evolve him again. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock his next active ability. It's a jump, that right there, does AoE splash damage, it's nice, and I'm going to activate these here to try to save him. Can we save him in time? I don't think so, there's, yeah, the, the Dragoons are still focusing me down. It's not going to make it, but we'll still clear out their wave, and just, uh, my job is done here. Oh wow, those are some very big, very big and powerful Zealots. Those are the, the yeah, the Legionnaires. Very powerful Zealots from the campaign. Those are fun. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have Hydralisks, Roaches, Ravisaurs, and Primal Zerglings. I think I just want to save up for Impalers, is what I, is what I want to do here. Uh, Impalers, if you're not fam familiar with the campaign, they have, uh, they're like Lurkers, but instead of using spikes, like the Lurkers do, they do this kind of sunken colony, like StarCraft 1 kind of attack. It makes them different. But also very powerful because it's also very long range. They just like burrowed or cloaked sunken colonies. It makes them really, really good. I am gonna want some Hydralis though, just to have some range attack. The Haka, if you notice, is very tanky, so you can just kind of sit there and tank all the hits. Uh, let's devour, upgrade Devour again, and I'll just have Hydralis sit in the background and do things. Let's go ahead and put these here. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna survive this because the second wave showed up, but it will help out enough. For these zealots to come in and clean things out. Oh, what is this? Oh, they got a the hero zealot in there too. That's really powerful. Look at, look, oh, Jesus, 600 HP, effective HP. That's a lot. So now we have Dahaka, some primal hydras in the background. Uh, just that's one damage upgrade and impaler. Let's go ahead and put them down. Notice that all of these units are exceptionally expensive. And one of the other cool gimmicks is that his units gain special, unique adaptations every time you place them. Like this guy in particular, he, he noticed how he got really big? That's because he has plus 50% maximum life. Now the next time I build one of these impalers, I won't have that adaptation. Uh, well, probably not. There's a, it, it gains a random adaptation, so. Did he just eat an Archon? Jesus, this guy's brutal. He just ate an entire Archon. Okay. That's concerning. Can you imagine being able to, he's just eating Marines now. That's very concerning. Now, I don't know if they have detection. But yeah, you see it's just sunken colony just kind of eating things. Uh, tentacle monster style, just out of the ground coming up. Yep, yep. Welcome to Impalers. Uh, they're fun. Well, 
That's a bunch of minerals for us, so I'm going to go ahead and take all those minerals and build another extractor. That's good. So we, we definitely own the middle. Oh, please burrow. Please burrow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> they had to use a scan in order to get rid of them. That's good. We're going to have some resources. We own the middles. So we're going to have additional income. I didn't get the second impaler down in time. So we're going to have that bonus trickle just for owning the middle. And now that we've taken over the bunker, we got that bonus goodies. Oh, let's see. I do want to get a detector of my own. Uh, oh, right. I don't. I can't build overseers because we don't have. We don't have overlords because they're primal zerg. Hmm. I have to get this guy to level five in order to unlock, uh, unlock detection out of Dahaka. So I need to. I need to save up the skill point in Dahaka to let him get one more level. All right, that's important. Just let that impaler go to town. Get another impaler. Let's get a couple more impalers. Let's do it. There's one more there, and one more. Is it 300? How much did you cost? 350. 350. That's a lot more than a lurker. All right, there we go. Four impalers for maximum tentacle fun. Good God. Oh yeah, we definitely need detection real quick here. They've got all kinds of nonsense coming out of this. You see, their uh, their cannons are just respawning. Uh, fortunately. Uh, they respawned only to be murdered again, which is good for us. Oh, jeez, that's a reaver. I haven't seen these in forever. 160 damage per shot. Oh, God, that's a lot. Yeah, just eats the Archon. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. Just straight up eats the Archon. Welcome to Zerg. Let's get a up uh, carapace upgrade for you. Look how much damage. He's just tanking all those Marauders and Marine shots. And I don't know if they have... Oh yeah, like this guy, for example. His adaptation isn't plus health. It's a uh, plus 20% weapon speed. What do you have? Yeah, you have the plus health. Uh, what else? What other guys do we have here? We have... You are plus health. You... 20% of damage dealt will be restored as life. But that's one of the cool things. Is these units are kind of like Super Zerg, which is kind of terrifying the more you think about it. Uh, we can get Swarm Hosts, uh, Mutalisks, some more Hydralisks. I don't know if we need much more in the way of tanky units, because uh, Dahaka is doing a real good job at that. But we do need more... Oh, a Tyrannosaur. I, I, I need it. I'm sorry, I need this. I need to get to tier 3. I'm sorry. Uh, let's also get another extractor while we're at it. Like, this is gonna cost me some of my goodies. Because I'm not gonna be spending, spending money on income and such. But okay, so we can now detect units and also increase his armor by 3, which is really, really nice. Next level, we'll max out the uh, Devourer ability, or nope, we'll get uh, the Scorching Breath. Let's see, ah, uh, he's trying to figure out all the- I don't actually know all the gimmicks and individual commander things, so I don't- I don't know the answer to his question. But it's probably an upgrade somewhere, because campaign units are fun units. Did they just yank each other? <laughs> they did, and they just swapped places, that's funny. Right, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, yes, definitely want to get this. Oh, yes, please. Add poison to my impalers. Yes, please. Give me more. Attacks tenderize the target, dealing 100 bonus damage over 7 seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good. Please just keep pummeling them. He just ate the whole reaver. Give me... Alright, now, how much damage can we do before they scan? Yep, yep, they really should invest in some detection of their own, because that's not working out well for them. Oh, you know, I haven't been using these. These are free, so there's no reason for me not to use these. Just kind of pop them up back here and eat something. There we go. Yep, I need to be doing that. Let's see, what else do we want here? It's just... Autocast all of these. There we go. That way we'll get the upgrades whenever we unlock them. Guardians! Yes, please! If you're all familiar with StarCraft 1, you'll recognize these guys. Oh yeah. Gimme, gimme. Take some air control, at least some air dominance. Guardians, if you're unfamiliar with them, uh, we didn't get it in time. They're a long-range siege unit. They're pretty much the uh, broodlord. Only instead of spawning units, they just deal more damage. They also have a little bit of an AoE, which is nice. Oh, look at that dragon breath. Just raining fire. 
He's turning into Godzilla. Basically what's going on here. Which is good for us. Uh, he just protected my impalers. And one of them survived with 3 HP. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. Uh, Banshees. Let's do that. Get the Banshees out of the sky, please. Thank you. Those are some really upgraded... Oh, those are Duskwings. Uh, yeah, those are the powerful Banshees. Okay. Keep that in mind. Let's see. What? Oh, greater... Greater worm. We can get bigger worms in here. Alright, here we go. One giant worm. It's the same thing, but bigger. Uh, it looks horrifying. That's all I'm going to say about it. Oh, yeah, here we go. This guy has... Uh, what is it? Plus 20% weapon speed. You see, he's just they're just raining fire from above. That's what they do. They just, they just sit back and snipe things. They do a lot of damage. Look at that. Right, let's go ahead and get some worms in here. Do some good work. Let's go ahead and also upgrade our dudes to level 2. Oh, we don't have any more anti-air. We lost all of our anti-air. <laughs> We're outranging all of their all of their base cannons. Oh yeah, welcome to Zerg siege units. Uh, Zerg aircraft are quite 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 powerful. Oh, that's good. As you guys can see, you can see Tychus Tychus and friends coming in here. This is what's going on here. It's all those super powered Terran hero units because fighting heroes is always a good thing to do. Let's see, we need oh yeah, get some of that goodie. I want the big boy, this one right here, so I'm going to just save up for that guy after uh, getting an additional one of these. You notice we, we purchased all of these and only one of them has gone net positive. The rest of them are just so far not good investments, or rather, not, that's not the right way. It, not positive investments yet. <laughs> I love the fire. It's literally just fire. Oh, these banshees are shredding all of my things. Like, it's, we're doing, we're clearing everything out just because we have so much damage and so much tankiness, but the Banshees, the Banshees are too much, man. I need, I need to get Big Boy. Like, I dare you to clear this guy out with Banshees. They're probably going to clear him out with Banshees, but I'm going to make it work for it. That's for sure. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get the hero you didn't know. Almost got it. So close. It's only got 40 HP left, and regenerating faster than a Zerg, which is horrifying. Imagine if you were able to regenerate faster than a Zerg. But right, now these Reavers just kind of stacking. That's not good. Um, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Yes, eat the Archon. Oh yeah, that, that left a mark. There you go. There you go. Oh my lord. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Worms back here and have them do their range attacks. All the way back here. Try to clear out some of these banshees. Okay, yeah, no, I think the um, the reavers they did critical damage to us, at least to my tanky dudes before they kind of walked over. So now I'm gonna put this guy. I want him in the back of the front. Nah, right here. Okay, there we go. He got some upgrades out of that, so we need to upgrade that. Next is, I think we just need to work on their regeneration. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Alright, so now is a big boy time. Oh yeah, we've got a couple just Leviathan, Goliath monsters coming around. Okay, I, I, I can't wait to see what these guys do. Come on. Step on all of them. Just eat the Archon for breakfast. Just, okay, that, yeah, 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 that's good. Just, he's just taking, just taking the hits. Just face tanking those hits. Oh my lord, he's got to be, that that damage has got to be scaling because he's doing more and more damage to these guys. Like, it's not stopping. And they don't, we're, we have air control right now. These guardians are free to just rain from above. Oh, Jesus, it just hurts so much. Okay, I need to get these upgrades going. Just hit, hit level three on each of these because just the super units, the damage potentials, it's too much. We can get the armor on these guys. Oh, yes, please. How much armor do you have now? This guy's sitting on six armor, and this guy's on only four armor. Did we not get the... Oh, we're still waiting for the upgrade on this. That's fine. My worms are off 
cooldown so we could bring them. He's just going to come over here and eat the Archon again. Yep, yep, there he goes. That'll do it. Well, these Reavers are actually doing a pretty rough, pretty rough number on my tank, tanky dudes. Which is not, not ideal. Pull these guys up, have them start bringing their damage across. Uh, the Reavers actually survived, which is not, which is not good. But we did kill off all their Marines. So these Guardians just going to sit up here and kill off everything else. Which is good. And now they're protected by the Protoss. Alright, we need to do something about those Banshees. It's actually a problem. Uh, what can we do? Mutalisks. Mutalisks might be a good answer. But I just kind of want another Guardian. Yeah, I just kind of want another Guardian. Once this guy hits level 10, we can have him hit air units. Actually, upgrade that. There we go. This is uh, just AoE heal. Just pass it, everything around him regains hit points. Really good. Once he gets to level 10, he gets tall enough to literally just smack air units out of the sky. Not that he doesn't look tall enough already, but he gets even bigger, which is... I'm actually really looking for... Yeah, he's already just eating Archons. Oh my god. It's just... It's just so brutal. It's just... It just doesn't stop. Okay, time to put these guys down. Please take a few hits. So that the Guardians can do their work. Yep, yep, the Guardians. Oh, only one survived this time. But he's still enough. Sur oh, nope, both survived. Oh, yeah, here he goes. He's just destroying everything from space. Yep, yep, that'll do it. That's that's very good. They do a lot of damage. Especially this one that's got the 20% in attack speed. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, my God. That's almost. He's almost firing as fast as a Marine. Almost. At 50 damage a hit at a range of 9. That's really powerful. No wonder we're just kind of walking over him. And again, they have access to the same kind of shenanigans. So. Uh, let's see. Creeper hosts. I think mutalists are actually going to be a good call here. Because we need air superiority. And mutalists... Mutalists are a good air unit. They're not really a great air unit. But they're a powerful air unit. And the primal ones have some good bonuses. Like, this guy's got 300 health. Like, hmm. Yes, please. Oh, I didn't realize. This guy actually has a passive area. It gives two armor to nearby allies. Okay, well, I need to put another one of you in the back. Just give you alive longer. I only face tank some of those hits. Are these guys still alive? Oh, my God. Those guys are still alive and just eating all the base defenses. Yeah, you don't want to... You don't want to let that happen. Don't, don't do that. But we have these mutilists now. Let's see... Primal Mutalists revive on death after a short time. Cannot occur more than once every 43 seconds. Give me that. Uh, in that case, because they're so tanky, I'm going to want more. Let's put one more here. And then I want another Tyranazor. I have a Tyranazor put in back so that he, he takes a while longer to get to the front and thereby give more things armor. And the Impalers are still sitting here. They're actually about to... Oh. Oh. Oh, he has no detection. It just just blowing up all the all of them and he expired oh yeah yeah that's good okay and spread those out make them the face tank a few things come on come over here shoot that and they have no detection so the impalers are gonna do work and they did work and the guardians are hitting the base very good and the impalers are still here they're just sitting in the back, just sunken colonying things. These things are so nice. I like these things. I really do. Uh, where are we going to win here? I think we're going to win here. I think we are. Alright, guys. Well, that was some super powerful Zerg. My god, that was ridiculous. Oh, man. Well, guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button because we got more videos like this coming out real quick here. But for now, have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.